welcome to Harare, Zimbabwe. Come on in. So after about a day and a half of traveling, we've got our first stop in Zimbabwe. A lovely suite where we will be spending the night and hitting the road first thing tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Come this way. Of course, after a long day of traveling, the most important thing is to take a nice, luxurious bath in our beautiful flat roof um, little villa. And then, what I'm really looking forward to, after we get all freshened up, spending some quality time out on our personal balcony. What do you think, Tom? Will this do? I think it's going to be pretty nice. Pretty. We know where they are at the moment, so what our main objective was to get meat yeah. and put up as quickly as we can tomorrow, and then it's game time. My name is Byuka. I'm a waiter. I'm making an idol. Stanford, otherwise known as Sam. <laughs> Great to cook. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be shooting. Blazer R8 professional success today. Uh, we've actually got two barrels for the 375, which we have on here right now. And then the other one is a 300 Win Mag. So it's a great rifle, really nice. You can switch out the barrels super quick and easy uh, using just a wrench and uh, you know, don't even have to change out the bolt or anything like that. And it's a very, very accurate rifle. So I'm looking forward to using it. We're good. Okay, so the brain situated in here. This is the eye socket, the ear is here. So if he's broadside, if we shoot him in the water, broadside, you want to put it just to the right of the ear, okay. just in front of the ear, same level with the, with the ear and the eye. Okay. Um, if he's frontal, he has a V in the, in the top of his head like this. Right. You want to hit him at the base. It's, it's like a triangle like this. Right. 
Okay, you want to hit him on the base of the triangle in between his eyes at the base of the triangle. Perfect. That's all. Perfect. That's it. So we're going to go look for a hippo now. Um, it's ideal for bait. It makes eight quick baits. It lasts a lot longer. So we're just going to see if we can find one and uh, give Jen a, a chance to shoot hopefully a nice bull. Tom, there's a, there's a bull that's come. He's swimming along here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go down here to this, behind this island and try and see if we can get him close. Good hit. He's gone. Now that is now what we call blankets. Oh. Well done. Yes, man. That was a great shot. Very well done. Whew. What a shot. That's a very good shot. Well done, Benham. Thank you. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boo. Boo. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> now we got bait. Yep. Yeah. We are good to go. Good shooting, tough shot. It was a long shot, you know, it was pretty far out there in the lake and everything. And so uh, it was good. She finished it off quick. And so now we'll go see what you got. I think it's going to be bigger than we expected. <laughs> so this should uh, this should cover us for, I think, like eight, eight baits or something like that. So we'll get these up in a bunch of trees and everything. And we'll see what sort of leopards show up. I think. Uh, Supposedly they saw like four or five leopards already last week and so should be good. We know kind of where they are, now we just gotta get them to show up. an amazing experience uh andy thank you and of course That's we got this <laughs> yeah there you go uh, tom you got a little bit of uh, living up to do yeah <laughs> cool thanks guys just get busy perfect yeah baby wow holy shit, Wow. Oh my god, he is massive. See that growth on the side of his face? Wow. Oh. What? That's a tooth coming out of the top of his nose. No, it's weird. He's got a tooth coming out the side of the top of his mouth. Wow. Never seen before. Fishy. Looks like your teeth. Yes, but <laughs> tigers. To a double hook. And now we got a wundu bait. Wow. Wow, nice. 
Zero. You've done that before. Yes, sir. You know, for Yanni and I, what we're over here for, you know, we've done lots of hunting in the past and done different things ourselves. Uh, but this one was all about Thomas and Jen. And quite frankly, for us to be there and see them with this life experience uh, was just very special for us. And so that's what we're all here for. And so we're all having a great time. Yes! <laughs> hey, this what we do, man. Let him, let him this is what we do. Get real? Like this, this direction yeah. or the way? Yeah. That direction. So you go up, oh, okay. and then go down, reel in, that takes your slack, and then go up again. Yes! This way, grip. Okay. Brother Bear. Reel, reel. Look at this man go. There you go. Brother Bear. Take reel, him, brother take the bear. slack. <laughs> Yay, there you go. That's a bull. Now he's running. Yes. Yay. <laughs> 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 Okay, reel down. There you go, well done. Tighten a little bit. Go down, reel. Take up the slack, come up. Oh, there's a big one. Reel down. Take up the slack. There you go, come up. Now he's coming, he's coming. Check him, he's. Wow. That's not a small fish. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Yes, my boy! Wow. This is a Vundu fish. This is a really good one. Um, they are edible, but the big, big ones like this, we put them back and let them carry on with life. They're great to catch, really good fun to fish. Um, and yeah, well done, Jen. Thank Very you. well done. There you go, buddy. Whee! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tried without being part of the plan. We had a croc had been feeding on some of the bait, and uh, we caught him on our fishing line. He was worth the, the way. Oh, he's like. Oh man, he's trying to get away. <laughs> Whoa! Come, 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 come. Okay. Really, you crock it off? Come on. Okay. Go on, then. Oh, he's pulling. You got him, brother. Okay. Well, Don't be the break, so. so we are now. In the mix of a Ome croc oh. fight. And the Mdada is hopefully not going to go to the Mbuda. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. oh, the Marlin she got. I was actually trying to bring in a, uh, about a 12 foot croc on a, uh, I think, 100 pound fishing line, which is a little bit underwhelming for the croc. But uh, he was pretty pissed off on whatever happened, so it was a great time. Yeah, so we're up here uh, at the lake and uh, two fishing trawlers pulled in. They've got these big nets in the back that they hang out at night uh, to catch a capenda fish. And they actually have big lights that they turn on that attract the fish to the net. And then they're really small, like maybe that big. Uh, and then they cook them. They do this every night. Well, we've got to this river. Pretty difficult to find a really nice tree to put a bait in. But we've decided we're going to make a bit of our we're going to make him his own little place. So we're going to put a tree, a tree across here. We're going to hang the bait from the top and uh, that will give him a good stand to eat and it will give us a good angle to shoot as well. So hopefully it works. It looks like a beautiful place and I know I've seen a track here already. So I think it's going to be a good one. Okay, so it's normally like this. It's got three, it's normally three knobs what a leopard track looks like and all his toes and he doesn't obviously his claws don't come out he only uses his claws when he when mm. he needs them so they, they retract inside but very distinctively he has three bulbs at the back of his paw okay. and then obviously no nails whereas Ahina Ahina has two bulbs at the back of his paw like this ah. and his nails have um, have claws on gotcha. them yeah so what we're doing right now is we're just covering the meat obviously with um, some thick green brush and the main reason being um, we want to stop, we want, don't want the, the, the bright red being visual to, to vultures as well as keeping the sunlight off it so it doesn't dry and rot quick.
Road Gang. Yeah. Woo -woo. Nice spot, nice and quiet down here. I think it looks good. I like that spot right there. You know, I feel like the leopard can get up there, just relax, eat the meat. You see a lot of hyena prints here, and so this branch, you know, should keep them far enough away from that cliff right there so that the hyenas can't get to them. The other place I think is a little more scenic because the river is a little more compacted and everything, with the walls a little closer in on the sides, but I think this, this tree is probably gonna be better. I like this one, I like this branch. I think it's at a good angle. Today's day two, um, we've come to put a bait at the far western part of our concession. We're doing it just because we've had a lion hunt just before this and they had a, a really nice male feeding here. So we're hoping that he comes back. It's a beautiful little place just along the river and um, we know there's a male here. So we've put it in the same tree, just lifted the bait up a bit and um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be back soon. There's a lot of hyena activity, so I think they'll be here tonight and hopefully with a bit of noise, it'll attract him back here. So we're driving along, we're getting, uh, heading back to do another bait for Leopard and we got to this spot in the road and unfortunately it looks like back during the rainy season, it, the road got washed out. And so um, in the truck, we only had axes with us and this ground is actually way harder than it looks. Come on, man! <laughs> and so, we sent a couple of guys up forward uh, to a village where they got a pick, and so now we're trying to break the road up so that we can actually make it up the slope and get on get on with the business of hanging baits. Jen paid good money to come to the <laughs> Bobby Road Crew. That's right! Looking good, looking good. Oh, there's a log right there. Tough day at the office. So I'm just putting up a stick here. The angle that we have here is not good enough, so the main objective was obviously to try and get him as parallel to us as possible. So I've just put a stick in here. Hopefully he gets on top and we're gonna put the bait here so he can feed at a good angle and um, make for a good shot. Go. I'll do it. Huh? I'll do it. Here we have some elephants, also known as long-nosed pigs. Holy shit! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I love this life. Thank you for another day. Like the biggest, um, the biggest threat we have is, is other people, you know, or maybe a natural disaster, but not that. Oh my God. Woo. That's normal in Zimbabwe. Oh my God. Unbelievable. That's our life. In the harmony with nature, we live with animals. Amazing. So, yeah. He was trying to make friends with us. <laughs> I like that version. I had a different story in my head. I'm going to go with your version though. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, isn't it? It might even carry it for kilometers. So, yeah, good luck to her. So Jen, that wasp is actually got a, a paralyzing sting. So what he does is he finds a spider, they have a battle, stings it, and then it's paralyzed. So that spider is not actually dead. It's just paralyzed. Oh my God. Well, permanent paralysis, I guess, right? Wow. He's going a long ways. Look at him go, man. So now he'll drag it to his little uh, hole. He'll have a hole dug somewhere, and then she will actually lay eggs in the spider and when the eggs hatch the spider is still alive and the the babies of the wasp will then the larva of the wasp will then feed on the live spider that's still paralyzed andy and i have been watching this little guy carry this massive spider all the way back from uh, behind the truck the burbab tree that big thick tree um so i don't know if you can get the full appreciation on camera but it is a long way Whew, I'm tired just watching him. He's, he's a too young. I got. Go back. Go back. No, no, if you, he's like this, you want to shoot him just below the eye level. Jenny, what's, what's, what's the problem? Um, it's really, really smelly. <laughs> Ooh, horrible. The worst thing I think I've ever smelled in my life. It's <laughs> only going to get tastier. <laughs> That's shit from this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> from the hippo, which we shot three days ago. <laughs> Close your sinuses. No. No, 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 it's not good. <laughs> it can't get worse than this. <laughs> not bad yet. Not bad yet? Yeah! <laughs> Back in two days from now. No! <laughs> After seven days, it should be no better. <laughs> no, that's why I said we're getting our leopard. I said first first night, we're going to get our leopard. So, the first night that we're able to, we're going to get our leopard, okay? We're going to go do our first stock for some well, elephant and uh, <laughs> brought the... Uh, double gun along for this one. So it's a Chapuis 470 Nitro Express. I have a 458 Twin Mag here. 
um, with a right red dot on it, which I got last year. Um, it's changed my life, to be honest with you. Just so much quicker. Um, this is a rifle which I've had for about uh, 15 years now. Came from, it's been through my family, through three generations now. Um, very comfortable and I love it and it works. I'm the apprentice for Dalton York Safaris and I've been working with them for a little while now and I'm on my way to getting my professional hunter's license. I'm using a 416 Remington Winchester model 70 and I bought it a few years back when I started my apprenticeship and so far it's done me very well. So we here, um, this is obviously in the villages, we have a few gardens, we have some bananas that have been at the bottom here. There's a few elephants at the moment that are coming in and out of this place and they're destroying the gardens as well as eating the bananas. So they haven't been here last night, but we pretty much, we followed them a few times here. So we're actually gonna climb through the hill and go and uh, see if they're in their normal, normal place. And in that way, we're gonna solve the villagers' problems of having these elephants in here and as well as getting ourselves a, a good trophy and having a, an amazing hunt. I spotted a track, but it was really not a track. It was just like a little crack from the footprint, you know, maybe like that long. But from that, they were able to tell that it was fresh and that they were heading, we think, probably in this direction. So now they're looking to pick up the next one. But if you look at the ground here, it's, it's all rock. So you're only ever gonna catch like a corner of a foot or something like that, and then you won't get a full track. Ah, Mr. Newton. Good. Kuhin <laughs> Manaru <laughs> so we've just found a guy, I think he's been drinking quite a lot of a, a drink called Chikirikiri and I think he's seeing leopards on another planet, planet 700. Uh, that one I think he was uh, under alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> under the influence. <laughs> yeah, under the influence of alcohol. He was talking of a leopard which caught a baboon <laughs> and at the same time he's talking of uh, some elephants <laughs> and he's saying he saw them live. I don't think that guy was telling the history. He, just, he was just after a meet. He wanted us to work. <laughs> So it's the morning of day four and we are approaching our most likely bait that may have been hit, so holding fingers, yeah. Embada Eripo. We the hope... bird is here. No, no, we don't know that yet. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. But we almost know. We know. We are optimistic. I can feel it. See what happens. Looks like we've got some leopard track here. This is really close to our bait site where uh, there's the dead hippo in the river. So this is uh, pretty exciting to see track in this area. So it's a nice cat. And this is the hyena. You can see the two bulbs at the back. So the hyena has two bulbs at the back, like this. And you can see his toes are very close together. Where's the leopard? You can see there's three bulbs. <laughs> nah, but this is exciting. So Dalton's going to check right now if the 
Bates been hit, but it's nuts seeing the tracks up on the road, you know, walking back and forth on the road, leading right down here. I mean, it's basically like they were following the truck. You know, this one's not the brightest. I think we have a leopard that has coronavirus, struggling to smell. He's walked right, right across it, but he's now following the drag the opposite direction. Our biggest thing is this hippo, I think, is interfering with our whole system. Yeah. But we're going to redrag now and leave a lot more a bit of intestines in the tree to yeah. make it smell. Because he's literally walked around it, he's got onto the drag and he's following the drag. <laughs> so I'm not... Drive down yeah. and get stupid sometimes. Yeah, this one's not the brightest. We're looking for a, few, a bit more bait, so they run off a little bit, but we're just going to try and get on them again. And hopefully Jen can get a good shot in. We found two different herds crossing paths, but the problem was the bush was just too thick. So we would see them, but the shot just wasn't there. Look through here. Okay, there's a gap straight through these two, all these two trees. Uh, so we just kept coming into this beautiful area here where immediately broadside just looking at us was a beautiful bush buck. That's too small. And uh, kept coming forward and then all of a sudden to the right we see a herd of impala moving across. Oh, I earned that one. <laughs> well done. Thank you, man. Nice oh, thanks well for not done. giving up on me. Yeah, well done. Ah. What, what do you What do you think? Well, we've had the leopard walk again on the on the on the drag. I think because of the presence of too many hyenas, he's a bit too wary about going too close to where the bait is. So right now we're putting the bait on his doorstep, and hopefully that convinces him to climb the tree and have a snack. Right, Andy. But he doesn't eat that, then he's a vegan or something. We've been following this very promising leopard track for I think this is day three now that we're on it. We just hung an impala bait over there, a really nice tree. And now we're cutting out where our blind is going to be, putting in some shooting lanes and everything. It's a real nice spot. We're inside this big bush, so it's natural shade and everything. So if he shows up tonight and hits that bait, I think this will be a perfect spot. So we just showed up here and uh, we saw a track. We actually managed to park right on top of it. The track looked really good. So uh, Dalton went in and checked it out. And sure enough, the bait had been hit. This is our first bait that's been hit. So very excited. Uh, a little more investigation showed that it looks like it's a male and a female. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take the bait because it's been fed on for the last two nights. Uh, and we're bringing up an Impala to hang up in there as a fresh bait for them to keep them interested in everything. And then. Uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from there, but uh, I think this is a, it's got a lot of potential. This is our first bait that's been hit. And this spot right here, uh, you know, we've got a little bit of water here, so it's, uh, it's kind of buggy, kind of gross. And so, you know, we actually kind of thought, like, this might be a spot they'd show up because it's the nastiest of the spots we've been to. You know, it's hot, it's uh, lots of elephant in the area, and it's buggy. But sure enough, they hit that bait right over there. Last night they fed. Uh, we're going to let them feed for one more night just to get a bit more comfortable. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to set up. Get everything ready and uh, hopefully have a chance at shooting a really nice leopard. Uh, my name is Tan Fat and um, I'm a chef. Um, and dinner tonight is uh, buffalo steaks and crawfish, uh, potato cakes, uh, seasoned fish, veggies, and uh, for dessert is uh, uh, chocolate, caramel, fruit. Uh, 
Every meal, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How's the food, Tom? Very good. Exceptional, as it is every day and every night. <laughs> Said nothing's there? Nothing. Man. Gonna have to figure something out. How's the roller coaster so far? <laughs> it's definitely a roller coaster. And we thought we had two good spots yesterday. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Luckily we still got time, so. We'll check now. I just need to check, but. I've eaten a lot. They yeah. They <laughs> fucked with me. As <laughs> usual. Would you expect anything else? <laughs> Andy messing with me, telling me it wasn't it. This is gonna be good. Can't wait to get those videos downloaded. This is def this is definitely him though. But you can see how thick he is, and he's got this very thick rosettes sitting on the side here. Yeah. He's beautiful. You see, he's lifting that whole hippo. Oh, wow. That's some strong. Mm -hmm. Check out his forearms as well. Yeah. You see mm -hmm. how his face is yeah. stout. Like nice yeah. Almost. Mm. Nice thick teeth too. You got a thick neck. Eh? What is that? A ball bag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a young male, mm -hmm. and there's the big male. It's, this is the younger male. Yeah. This is the bigger one. Right. <coughs> He's clearly way stockier. Right? Yeah. That's definitely, it's two males. Okay. Which is great for me. My job a bit harder, but just have to be a bit patient. And uh, hopefully the bigger one comes first. If not, and the smaller one comes, we know the bigger ones will come later. So we just got to be patient and make sure we don't make any mistakes. So we're shooting uh, Swift A-frames, 300 Win Mag. Good luck.
ما اعرف Quite a few scars on his face. You can see these dark lines here. It looks like he's been fighting a lot. Mm. And you can even see the color of his nose as well. It's quite dark as well. Yeah. As you can see, he's quite a dark in color actually. Yeah. And his neck has is, is got that Very huge thick. dewlap. As well as his, his ball bag is actually quite bulged out as well. To be honest with you, I want to sit for this one. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this is, I think this guy is what, I'm look, what we're looking for. On an age basis, definitely. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool. Came down here looking for bait. We've got a great leopard on bait. Um, obviously, trying to get a few baboons. It's really neat bait. Shoot the bush back. Yes. Reload. Hold on again. Hold on, hold on. It was actually a pretty cool hunt. Obviously, trying to get a few baboons and uh, Fortunately, this big guy came out and uh, you made a great shot. Let me tell you, this is a bushbuck of a lifetime. It is a beautiful bushbuck. Um, and again, you know, you made a great shot. It was a great little hunt and uh, congratulations. Hey, thanks, Dol. Very well done. Appreciate it. Leopard hunting, it was an emotional roller coaster. Um, you know, it, it's a thinking game. It's just, you know, this gradual building of anticipation and excitement with each new stop you go to. And then once you actually get to a bait that's been hit, you know, and then you start to make a plan of, all right, are we gonna sit here? You know, do we need to do another bait? You know, whatever it happens to be, you know, that strategy. I mean, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster for sure. Good luck, guys. My buddy. Fucking <laughs> oh, very well done, my buddy. Fucking well done. That is a beautiful cat. Old, old oh, cat. Man, very old mm. cat. That's what we look for. We found him dead. This is a really nice old cat. Um, I'm really proud of Tom. He made a great shot and I could, we couldn't have taken a better cat. This is perfect. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good 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 Bolato, 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 bolato,
man, what a night. It's just good to have this guy down. Nice old cat. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, sir. sorry, I don't know what else to say. No, that's cool. <laughs> Last four words. Sorry, Tom, well done. You've you've had an absolute cracker. Dalton, <laughs> thanks again for looking after such a special client to us. I think I met Tom about four years ago and, and he he told me about his dream of, of hunting in wild Africa and here it is, Tom. Well done. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Andy. Absolutely. It's been beautiful. amazing. Dalton, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Well done. This is, uh, this is, hunting is a, is a big team effort. And as you can see here, we've got our team. It's a, it's a real A team. Uh, so to all the guys, well done guys. Makoro Koto. Congratulations. Thanks guys. Yeah, yeah, We've got some reports from this uh, local fishing village that there's been an elephant that's harassing them in this area. So let's uh, interview a few people and see what they have to say about, uh, about what's going on here with this elephant. A lot of fish around here. Just go into the bush here. You will see it. People will die here if you don't kill this elephant. It's already injured three people. It comes into the village every day and chases people. They are saying the elephant is here and the elephant is so big. And so the guys just went to check for it. It's not very far. The young boys just saw it a few minutes ago. Oh, those little ears are so cute. How shiny they're peltis, you know. This must be the breeding ground for them. If you call to them quietly, maybe they'll come by and visit you. Right. I don't know that we really want that, so... I don't... They're very relaxed, aren't they? Yeah. The one has like a dent on the, for the back part of his back. Did somebody kick him? We actually found this track. We've just gone in a little bit and we actually found the elephant. He's under a tree. It looks like a really nice bull. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take Tom in and see where I have a closer look with him. It's good enough and a bit open for us to get a side brain. We'll try a side brain. Okay. Okay. Let's go stalk some elephant. Yeah. Cool. Come with me. Come with me. I want you to front your brain now. 
Kom og smidt. Kom. Det er nice. Man, that was some excitement. Well done, my buddy. Thank you. Very well done. Big old pool. Very well done. I can't believe I was sitting there. Well done, my buddy. It's a great elephant, that. Well done, my buddy. That's yours. That's awesome. Claim your elephant. First elephant. So if we hadn't shot this, uh, the council or national parks probably would have had to shoot it in order, as because it's a threat to life, they have to deal with the problem. So it would have been shot as a PAC and to be honest, it would have been a waste with no value added to it. It's just, it would have just been meat. At least now the elephant gets paid for, the money can be put into the community as well as the meat is distributed to the villages. <laughs> that is the exact <laughs> elephant which is uh, harassing us. <laughs> this elephant, he can destroy us in the village. If you meet him in the road, he will tell you, get out of here, chase you. <laughs> it's a very good thing which we have done to kill this elephant. It's very dangerous. Yeah, in this area, normally what we do when we kill some animals like this, when we are doing hunting, uh, we share the meat to the community. Those are the benefits for the community so that they have to keep their animals safe, not to put some snails, because they know that we get money from them and we get some meat when meat is killed. So we're having. The, the older woman in the front, older men in the front, and it just gradually gets younger. So we're feeding the older people first, and then the kids will get what's left. Thank you.
that is a beautiful bowl. Just is too thick. There's no shot. And you could look at it and you see his face. It's been a long day. <laughs> a lot of walking. Nearly 10 hours now. Um, we nearly got a chance at a really nice pool late in the evening. Just couldn't have a didn't have a shot presentable for us. Quite thick, uh, but we could see his head. Just nothing else. Um, but all in all, great day. We've been in some buff, um, and yeah, can't ask for anything better. We want to hunt, and today is Buffalo Day, and we need all the luck we can get. It's going to be awesome. The weather's beautiful. The surroundings are awesome. It's quiet, except for these terrible humans that always make noise. Game time. Well, today we discovered why the elusive Cape Buff Buffalo is called elusive, because he continues to elude us. Uh, this is now two days, almost 20 hours of straight stalking, constantly feeling like we're right behind them, only to find that they have eluded us again. So now I think we are headed back to the truck to enjoy a nice evening by the fire and get after it again tomorrow. Well, hello there. So we are very fortunate and have more than enough in the United States. So instead of selling what we don't need or um, giving it to the Goodwill, we decided we would bring some to Africa and share some of our, our goodness and our blessings with the people around us. It's part of the way of us saying thank you for letting us enjoy the beautiful land here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you? Bye bye. 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 How's it feeling, Jen? Oh, it feels so good. Give back a little. So we've got our hyena bait here. We're just going to drag it to the airstrip, to the open wolf uh, war ground. Um, we're going to leave it tonight, and then hopefully tomorrow we have quite a few hyenas, and then uh, hopefully we can get a shot at one tomorrow for Tom. What do you think, Tom? Mm, smells good. Looks You're delicious. Right. Think, uh, Very right. Hyenas are going to be eating good. Yeah. <laughs> leave the smell on the road. On the road. Oh, and then, and then they enticing. Yeah. Hyenas will come on yummy, the road yummy. tonight, and they're going to come straight If off. I would smell it, I'd be racing home as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Right. I'm more for the fresh meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> darling, darling. <laughs> darling, it's called a drag. <laughs> We're doing a drag. <laughs> Officially, this village knows about baseball. Oh, I get it. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Very is that, cool. Is that why you were out on the first the first go? Yes. They've been <laughs> practiced. Well, they well practiced, these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There you go. There you go. Yes! Oh! Um, we are the runners to be up front and get that buffalo today. We gave him two days where he was the upper hand. Now it's going to be us. It's our turn to have the upper yes. hand. I agree oh, with that. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to go. Yep. We're on it. Wow. We found a nice buffalo track in the fields here. He's been here for a few days. So we've come in, we've managed to find where he's come out. So I think today is probably the day. It's going to be a good hike, good hunt. And uh, yeah. hopefully a buffalo goes down. conservation is about. You know, if you look after areas, you get big elephants like this. Beautiful. Majestic tusk is here. And nice just to watch them, you know. We don't kill everything we see, contrary to popular belief. Very nice to see some old bulls like this though. Yeah. They can be very elusive as well. You know, they, they know the game. Yeah. yeah. But they look very comfortable though. Nothing's bothering yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. Guarantee that big shit on the road is from yeah. him. Yeah. A fish eagle? Yeah, right. It's a pretty sight. You never know when you're out hunting uh, what you may find. You know, we were out for one animal, and now what, we, what do we come up on? Three mammoth bow elephants, a fish eagle, uh, another bird that was catching a fish. We see hippos. Uh, 
uh, over here in the bay, coming up and down, opening their mouths, you know, world sights you will never see anywhere else. And, and here it just happened in the moment. And so, what a wonderful thing. I'm just trying to make sure that back, uh, um, we've just seen a herd of buffalo. Not a great one, nothing really to shoot in here, um, but all, all the less, nice to see. We had them snookered, we just needed the right one. So unfortunately there wasn't the right one, but yeah, good all round. Dalton had a plan. We hung some baits the other day and did a really long drag, probably for like <laughs> mile and a half, two miles, something like that. It was far. With right? the Just, hippo yeah, leg. Dragging it behind the, uh, the cruiser. And so uh, we came out here, got everything set up. Uh, before we got everything set up, my mom decided to try bungee jumping with that rope out the <laughs> back of the land cruiser. It went all right, no injuries, nothing significant, so we're all good to go. But yeah, so then we, uh, we turned on the call and uh, it's crazy because like the, the speaker was pretty loud, right? Mm. But then we heard this really loud, really deep. Mm. Mm. We're like, what is that? Mm. Like, oh, those are the real ones. <laughs> and then poor Andy, we're coming up right behind him, and he's on the ground with the thermal looking for him. So. But yeah, so we, we got him lined up. They were checking out the uh, the call and everything, and. Uh, 11 o'clock, Dot. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. You turned the, the light on, and it was tough. It was really tough to see them. Uh, you know, like, they were pretty far away, and so and the light wasn't optimal. Look at your eyes, I'm looking. No, this way. Okay, this But I managed to catch some eyes, and so took a shot. Smoke this guy, and so that uh, worked out pretty awesome. Fuck, I didn't get, I was on the wrong one, bro. Whew, that was crazy. You know, I had to look to Dalton and ask him, like, those really loud noises, is that your speaker? No, it wasn't his speaker, it was the real hyenas all around us. And you, poor Andy, I thought you were gonna get eaten. I mean, they were literally right next to you coming up from behind. That was, that was intense. But, uh, but yeah, it was, it was tough to see them for sure in the light. You know, you just barely catch a glimmer of their eyes. Uh, but I think we got one, so we're gonna go check it out right now. Very excited. Oh, man. Congratulations. Hey, thanks, man. It was well awesome. Thanks, Lots of fun. Coffee. Thank you guys for coming. Thank yep. you. I'm sorry I didn't get the kill shot, but... <sighs> no, it's all right. <laughs> there were too many hyenas there. I don't know which one was there. There were too many hyenas at the time. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know which one to choose from, right? Yeah, I didn't. Here, so Andy. so I, I got on I got on the... I got on the... Sorry. In the image, two hyenas, because I thought there was one to the left, and two to the right, yeah. so I thought, let yeah. me get those two. And then bang, and then I looked in the thing and those two were running. I was like, oh, that was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I went left and there he was lying down. So. Yeah. Good job, guys. But huge yeah. paws, huge teeth on this thing. Yeah. It's like a shark's teeth almost, amazing. He's got some rips in his ears. Yeah. Yeah, he's been Very around. Terrified. Been around. Yeah. yeah. Eating our lip bed. Yeah. Yes. What do you think how old he is? Um. I don't know, probably about four or five years old. Yeah. He's a, he's a big dog. Yeah. yeah, he is. He's a male as well. Mm-hmm. Big for a male, I think. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very awesome. cool. It worked out All perfect. Right. Yeah. Thanks for risking your life, Andy, for the yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. For, for the you, I video. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last day, last push. We've, uh, it's quite early in the morning, we've come across a, a little herd of buffalo. Looks pretty fresh. 
I'm going to give it one more push. Hopefully today we can get Jenna her buffalo. Nyati Diangu. That buffalo is mine. Unfortunately, when he finally got a look at the whole herd, it wasn't meant to be. Um, which is also a good news story though, because we got to be out here in nature with them and um, really show that this is about conservation. Because if there's no bull that's ready to go, then there's no shot. Everyone okay? Yeah, squeer. Squeer. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Last. Look at what Andy did to me. Close you see that? Look oh, at that. Oh. Andy, my brother, my boot, <laughs> was supposed to be looking out for me. No. You tell us what are we doing right now? Right now we are going down to the water to take some pictures with our beautiful animals that we're taking back home with us. As memorabilia to always relive these wonderful experiences.
we are now on to stage two, which is living in the lap of luxury. Come with me. Welcome to the Old Drift Lodge, room number 11. Can I offer you a refreshment? Some cookies, perhaps? Some tea or coffee? And if you need some time to think, have a seat at the desk and write down your thoughts. And we come over this way and you've got a beautiful seated area. And if there's not enough sun for you here, come on outside to your own personal deck. Ta-da! And it even comes with friends to welcome you. Hello, little monkey. Or is it a baboon? Hi. Monkey. Hi, monkey. Welcome, Tom and Jen Mahoney. We've been waiting for you. Not but 20 feet from our room, the gorgeous Zambezi River. Here in our room, we are in Zimbabwe, but right across the river is Zambia. Now, if you'd like to join us over here for our little breakfast nook, where we can have a snack and just relax with our little friend, Ralph, I think will be his name. And come back with me into the room. So here is our lovely king size bed. And we actually have another friend from the river, Mr. Crocodile. As you can see, they even took the time to design his scales on the back with some leaves. We feel so special. And if you follow me behind the bedroom, you'll find a lovely area where we can store our luggage, get into nice comfy rooms. And hang up our outfits for the day. Oh, but look, there's another door. And this way, you see a lovely bathroom with his and her sinks, a beautiful open shower. Ta -da! And if you need some privacy, a very nice roomy bathroom. Wait, there's more? So, if you're the adventurous type, Come take a shower outdoors in your own private shower or perhaps enjoy a soak in the tub. I think that's it for now. Tom and I are getting ready to enjoy everything that you just saw. See you later. These beds are quite amazing because they have evolved this relationship with animals. Mm -hmm. they, they don't feed anywhere else apart from animals. Oh, okay. And they, they will have, you know, buffalo, giraffe, impala, you know, kudu. And they get also those, uh, the fay for lining their nests from these animals. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And the food they get from them, they don't mm -hmm. have any. They don't and need to go anywhere else. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Like organisms living on other mm -hmm. organisms. Mm. She's looking right at me. Oh, look at the fishing eagle. 
You see it, Thomas? Straight Where? ahead. Still a juvenile. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. I have not yet attained full adult plumage, which takes up to four years to get. And these are our national bird. Mm -hmm. It is. This is awesome. This is sound. coming into the next big falls area. It's all so much bigger than Niagara Falls. We are at point 12, you can see how just the, the water gets shot back up from here. So it creates rain clouds. The ground is always, always wet here. Is a reason for getting up in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Smelling the coffee and the sun. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>